months. Uh, her husband's mistress, Riel Hunter, nowhere near her youngest children. Instead, here's how this plays out. Grooming her eldest daughter, Kate, to raise them should she lose her battle with cancer, meaning John Edwards, the dad, doesn't get custody. And this was a shock to our newsroom when we heard the news. Alan Tipper Gore splitting up. Remember this scene 10 years ago, making out? Now, two weeks after their 40th wedding anniversary, they're calling it quits? As always, we take your calls, 1-877-TELL-HLN's the number. Joining us to talk about it, welcome back, Ken Vogel, senior reporter for Politico. Also with us, Michelle Gollin, clinical psychologist. You can also check out more of her thoughts, momlogic.com. And joining us as well, family law attorney, Vicki Ziegler. Uh, Ken, first, I gotta start with the Gores here. 40 years of marriage and they're calling it quits. Any idea what, what went wrong here? Well, we're hearing from folks who we've talked to that uh, there is no evidence of any kind of affair, rather just the sort of continued strain of having two very high uh, profile, very powerful careers sort of run their course and take them in their separate directions over the years has kind of caught up to them. This is a real shock, as you mentioned, unlike the Edward situation, which has kind of become a little bit of a parody of itself, yeah. a train wreck. But both of them do kind of point to this larger issue that in politics in particular, but public life in general, there is a real impetus on couples and families to kind of portray this image of a happy family, regardless of what's going on in the background. Mm. Sometimes take something like this in both these cases is to see, hey, it's not always what it appears to be. Let's, uh, Michelle, to, uh, to Ken's yes. point there, one of the associates uh, said the associates to both Alan Tipper Gore saying their lives had gotten more and more separated. You know, I view this as a cautionary detail to anybody who's married, one year, five years, ten years, uh, that uh, oh, yeah. you can't take anything for granted here, and you're thinking 40 years, no. they could have worked it out. Your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think it's it's really clear that they started to lead very separate lives. And, you know, in the years of the politics and all that was going on, they really had a shared vision. And that's what couples need to continue to have is a shared vision. And that seems clearly one of the, the, the strains on the relationship. Yeah. Hey, hey Vicki. Yeah. How often do you hear that term in a divorce courtroom? We grew apart. I mean, is that more and more you hear that? Or, or give us your your take from your experience oh yeah absolutely I think many couples say that they've grown apart they have different interests um, they don't like to do the same things that they used to do when they're growing apart and they want to take out different ventures and do things the children are grown and their marriage really isn't a, a unified marriage they've been living independently for some time and from my perspective as a divorce attorney as you know Mike um, this to me is not such a revelation not because everyone thought they were such a, a happily married couple and we always know we don't really know what happens behind closed those doors right. but to stay married for 40 years is about a uh, very small percentage 15 percent 15 percent of couples that remain married that I mean that's ridiculous most people don't even make their 50th anniversary and wedding anniversary and Michelle to that point 40 years you figure come on work it out <laughs> I mean because we you know we'd right. like to cheer no forget what you think of Al Gore Tipper Gore politically I think we all can cheer right. a marriage that's lasted 40 years and you'd hope it lasts longer you know, I think, Mike, what happens is people people think that it doesn't take work. It take work. It takes mm. work every day, every year. And this is a trend that is happening. You know, it's called the gray divorce. It's happening more and more. And part of that is because people are getting married older. They're at the empty nest is happening a little older. And they decide to divorce uh, after mm. the, this many years of marriage. I don't, you and know, to, I, to Michelle's you, first point, Mike, if I might, yeah, yeah, go this ahead, idea Ken. of a shared vision, uh, the Edwards, this was a very clear example of that, where uh, yeah. Je Elizabeth Edwards was aware that John Edwards was having an affair early on in his, in his latest presidential campaign, but urged him pr to proceed because she was so uh, dedicated to this vision, and frankly, cynics might suggest, dedicated to getting into the White House herself, mm. that she wanted to see him go forward and then once the presidential bid collapsed so too did the marriage gotcha let's get a call in linda's with us california linda go ahead hi hey. i was just uh watching your show and it's just really sad to hear that after 40 years of marriage they couldn't have found some common ground it's just sad yeah i agree with you linda uh michelle i just think we have to s learn to say no to others and yes to our spouse you know what don't you I mean we yes we're gonna grow in separate ways but we got to come back more often than it maybe it looks like the Gores did here yeah, yeah well, I think what too bad go ahead Mich Michelle well it's it's very you know Mike 
Marriage now is very different than what it was 30 years ago. You know, women's economic freedom and marriage and relationships have different parameters than they used to have. Women used to have to stay, put up with a lot more. Now, what we want, our generation, my generation, we want relationship, we want connection, mm -hmm. we want fulfillment, and that takes work. I often say in a good marriage, it takes three people, and one of them is a therapist, mm -hmm. if you're gonna have a long-term <laughs> marriage. And that was shameless. <laughs> that's a great point, but Mike, you know what, you don't know, one person may have fallen out of love, and it takes oh. two to tango. Yeah, okay, all right, we're gonna continue, we'll talk. If you have any thoughts on the sad demise of the Gore's marriage, call us, one eight seven seven tell h l We'll also talk about Elizabeth Edwards. Can she even do this? And she's denying the report, by the way, but we'll, we'll throw this one at our attorney, Vicki. Could she really cut him out and have the eldest daughter raise the kids? Take your calls, one eight seven seven tell h l n Welcome back to Prime News on HLN. We're talking about political families in turmoil. We've been talking about uh, Alan Tipper Gore uh, announcing they are going to split after 40 years of marriage. I think many were shocked, especially after seeing this 10 years ago. They're making out at the convention. Uh, now they, they, they say they're done taking a call. Harriet is with us in New Jersey. Harriet, your thoughts here? Well, there's too many divorces going on out there, and people really, really need to work harder on their marriages. It's just uh, too easy to walk away, and they need to put time in it's on their marriages. And it's rewarding work, isn't it, Harriet? You put it, you invest in, you know, there's going to be some rough patches in a marriage. You invest, work Absolutely. a little bit. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And people just, it's too easy for people today. They just walk away and they can't because it's our kids that are, mm. um, they're, they're the ones that are hurting. Excellent. And they're the ones that are victims of their parents' divorces. Great Absolutely. points, Harriet. Great points. Um, Michelle, are, yes. are we just not willing this, to put in the work nowadays to save a marriage? I think. I think that there is a generational difference in couples that go and seek out therapy. I have to say in my private practice, Mike, I have younger and younger couples, which is great. I have couples who come in prior to marriage often. So they're willing to work. I That's think, a good thing. Oh, yeah. I think the generation, I think yeah. it's a different, a different story. And you know what? There is negative impact on the children mm -hmm. of these gray divorces. Yeah. It's very destabilizing to their own lives and, and having their own children and the grandparenting that goes on it's it it has ramifications it for the larger okay. family let's hit on the Edwards here and again Elizabeth Edwards is denying the report but the report was this that she was grooming her oldest daughter Kate uh, to care for the little ones Jack and Emma uh, should she lose her battle with cancer Vicki let's bring in our family law attorney Vicki Ziegler <laughs> is that even possible can you cut out no. loop around John Edwards don't you'd have to prove him unfit right right exactly you have to number one proof he's unfit and cannot take care of the two small children or if somehow he's convicted and he gets incarcerated and he goes to jail of course he won't be around to take care of these children other than those two points I don't see how she's gonna get around getting a guardian her eldest daughter the 28 year old to really take care and control of these children there's a court presumption that children go to their biological parents and this does not look good for her, unfortunately, if that's the feat she's trying. Yeah, right. Okay. Guys, thanks again so much. Uh, Ken, Vicki, Michelle, coming up, three teenagers swimming at a New York beach, pulled underwater. One guy with one surfboard had to...